Hello and welcome to another installment in a series of interviews being conducted right here on ZIZ TV with various um, persons who are involved with Sugar Mass 50 this year. I am Shanique Harvey and in studio with me this evening is the reigning groovy Soka Monarch, the high energy man himself, Rukas H.E. Rukas, a pleasant evening to you. Yes. Good evening to yourself and the viewers. Um, first and foremost, let's talk about your reign. Um, mm -hmm. So, Soccer Monarch hasn't been going on for, I think, a year or so now. Um, mm -hmm. So, what has your experience been like reigning for the past year? Well, first of all, I would like to say that um, it, it feels really good to be reigning for such a long time. And I, I, I think I might have been the first artist to actually reign this long as well um, because of the pandemic and everything you know so i've been reigning for two years basically and um, over the past two years uh, i've been doing lots of stuff and enjoying the reign as i said you know um, it always feels good to know that um, you are walking around with a title Mm, yes. <laughs> to say, you know, um, it, it kind of gives you a sense of joy, a sense of pride. And um, that also changes the way that you do things, changes the way that you live as well. Because now you have persons looking up to you or looking to you differently. Right. You know, and, and so you have a certain standard to uphold. Mm -hmm, most and definitely. Yes, and <laughs> yeah, it, it really feels good. So you said you were doing a lot of stuff. What is the stuff you're yeah. referring to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've been, I've been working on different projects. I've also been in conversations with my team about how, how we move forward because, of course, during the pandemic, we had to make certain shifts and we had to figure out how we can stay consistent and also stay in the eyes of the people yeah. as well you know and so in doing that we had to come up with certain plans because i'm not just an artist um i have a, a brand which is rukas he empire right and because of that we have to treat it like a business and just like any other business we had to make sure that we put things in place so that we can stay afloat even though it was kind of difficult to do that, uh, I, um, that's one of the things that we worked on during the pandemic and one of the projects that we've been working on behind the scenes. And we got some stuff that we're about to roll out. And yeah, um, I don't want to say too much about it because... Understandable. <laughs> yes, yes, Understandable. yes. Understandable. Yes. But, it's, but it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. And we are definitely looking forward to yes. that. All right, going back to the competition, um, how do you feel going into it this year? Hmm, going into the competition this year? So, I must start by saying that the competition this year is of a certain standard. Mm -hmm. Because I think this is the first time that you've actually seen so many artists right. entered into the competition. And we are now down to the finalists. Not that I had to go through any elimination process or right. anything, you know, but the artists and the songs that are in the competition are of a high standard. Mm. And so I think that this year, more so than others, I find that I had to prepare a lot more than I usually um, have to prepare for the competition. And I think this is also because this year we plan to win but if we win <laughs> um this is going to be our third crown in a row nice so this year should be our three-peat and we're definitely trying to capture that crown and i think that others see that as well and so i know that we are the target <laughs> <laughs> of course. I, I i know we are a definite target and so we are, we are definitely trying to prepare for that. We have been preparing for that. And this year was a lot more challenging than other years. And why, why I say that as well is because 
coming or uh, still staying still being faced with uh with the pandemic and stuff like that you know like we had to make sure that whatever we are putting on stage um it it it, it, it goes with the time as well right you know and so that has been one of our greatest challenges but outside of that i think that we're on the right path sending a little intimidation <laughs> there <laughs> I, I mean look it's competition and anything right. can happen at any time and sometimes it's 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 persons who you don't expect right is who can come and cause some trouble and so we have everybody under a microscope we are not taking anything like most definitely nobody <laughs> nobody gets in away <laughs> nobody like we're looking at everybody because as i said the competition is of a high standard and from listening to different songs me and my team can basically see what they can do on stage i mean it's not for us to tell them what they can right, do right. but listening to them we can see what they can do and so we prepare for the event that they do what we think mm -hmm. they can do so you have a count yeah. of yes there we go <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of this song you you released a song um recently for the for the competition yes okay speak to us about that um where did you draw your info your your inspiration from um what's the concept and stuff to look forward to so this song is called we in a dad which is more of a local sort of term you know, we say we in at that meaning um, we are part of it, you know, and the inspiration behind the song basically uh, came from the fact that we are facing a pandemic and now we heard that, hey, certain things are not going to be happening for Sugar Mass, um, the events are not going to be um, open to, um, to the full public, we, you know, so with all of that in mind, we said, well, you know what, let's do a song that will encourage people to say hey it doesn't matter what is happening for sugar mass it doesn't matter who is involved we're in at that right we're doing it it could be a pan knocking on the road we in at that it could be in a backyard with a bluetooth speaker we, we in, in at that, that. Yes. Yeah, it, it just it just doesn't matter where it's happening it could be right here inside the studio we could bang a few drinks we in that, that. that. Yes. Like, it just doesn't right. matter you know so that is the inspiration behind the song you know and um i definitely did get some outside help like we usually do for our soccer mana pieces uh we usually have international soccer writers um who comes on board and help it help with the writing process sometimes we do go out and source beats um but this year uh, the production was done locally. As a matter of fact, it was done in Nevis nice. by um, by Corey Tyson, Master Blow of the Country Kitchen. Uh, he did the production, the mixing, the mastering, the recording, and we still reached out to our writer to help with the writing process. You know, and um, it's it's very interesting how how we work together on on um on coming up with lyrics for the song because as an international writer he 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 writes for different people mm -hmm. right but sometimes the writing has to come home right. you know and so we have like i basically have to share what is happening in my country so that it can be formulated in such a way that it resonates with people here in St. Kitts and right. Nevis because the competition is here. But at the same time, the song has to be general enough so that persons on the outside can appreciate right. the song as well. Right. Because we're not just doing music for St. Kitts and Nevis, we're doing music for everybody to appreciate things that people can relate to. And so it's... It's, it's a collaborative yes, effort. It's always interesting to see what we come up with at the end of the day. Nice. So what are your thoughts on Soko Manar making a comeback this year? Well, I've always wanted to see Soko Manar on a different level. Like one of, one of the ideas that, that, um, that I've had and I've expressed my views on this as well. Um, I would like to see Soko Manar being 
promoted more so as a fet as opposed to a competition. Ah. And that has been done in different islands. And so persons don't come because, hey, boy, Ruka's going in the show. Uh, you know, I want to hear this song. I want to hear that song. They come for the experience as opposed to the competition. Mm -hmm. So if you sell the experience, and I, I mean, the, the only hope for you to do that is to sell it as a fet. Mm. So once you sell it as a fet, then now you have the experience that follows the fet. And so you sell the experience rather than trying to sell the competition. But my question to you where that is concerned, um, aren't there enough fet type um, events in the calendar, in the so um, sugar mass calendar? Yes, mm -hmm. but none that has a competition ah. in it. You understand what I'm ah, saying? Yes. So it's like, yes, it's a fet, but at the end of the night, there will be a winner. You okay. know, like, no cheers, not even a VIP. Mm. Everybody is together, you know, because that is what basically helps the artists that are on stage as well. Right. You know, me looking off, uh, trying to get that energy from the crowd, you know. I don't want to see nobody down there seeing and, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, so you, know, you would want that yes. set atmosphere. Yes, yeah. yes. I, uh, that is one thing that I, I feel will, will help the show to, um, to get to the level that we want it to be. Because if you look at Sokomanak in different countries, like, it's a fit type atmosphere. Right. You know, it's pandemonium. Right. You know, and so I think that we need to create that. But I think that we are well on the way. In getting that done though you know so um i think I, I i think the first thing to do is to make sure that the show is back up and there is interest in the show and then you move into pushing it as a fit as opposed to just a competition okay, okay we're gonna pivot a bit um you made reference to some um music that you put out separate and apart from the competition mm -hmm. but um as an artist um you know, your livelihood basically depends on the shows that you do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And because of this pandemic, a lot of shows have, ha hasn't been happening. And um, I think you did some shows overseas mm -hmm. um, fairly recently. Mm -hmm. um, what was required of you uh, in order for you to do those shows during this um, pandemic? Okay, so I went to Miami in October and um, we had like uh, five to six shows um, in one weekend you know so that was really exciting <laughs> I can't it, was, it was really exciting um, and because I haven't well because I haven't been doing that for for some time it's like I felt like the level of excitement was even greater when I got the opportunity to do something like that, you know, and um, our aim basically with that was to get our foot in the door so that when things reopen, you know, at least we are a topic, you know, and so that we can, you know, get bookings mm -hmm. again, you know. Um, but uh, when we when we went to when we went to Miami. Um, what was required of us uh, to go to any events that was that was um, taking place in the in the park, which would have been uh, the committee. Uh, we basically had to uh, we had to show our our, um, our vaccination um, status. We also had to be uh, tested. Um, we had to show either an antigen test or a PCR test, uh, which, which would have lasted for like three days, you know, and um, they had a certain time period as to when you could have uh, do the test so that it can last for the weekend, mm -hmm. you know. And so we, we did that and we were, we were able to take part in the, in the events that, um, that they were having, you know. Um, so we basically call it the Waves Tour. And that was riding off of one of our songs that we released during the summertime, you know. Um, and we definitely made some waves. We, nice. we, we definitely made some waves when we went to Miami. Um, it was just amazing to see 
all these people in 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 one venue after such a long time you know and miami was actually the the only state that had a full-blown carnival mm. you know and um, we felt really good being a part of that you know um before we left St. Kitts, we basically had to put things in place so that we can get bookings you know so we had to talk to different promoters and stuff like that so that uh, they they know that we are going to be there so that we can get on shows you know and um it really worked out well I, and and actually we we actually did so good that we're booked already <laughs> for next for year, next year. <laughs> you know which was which was the ultimate goal for us to make sure that we can do that and leave a, a, a lasting impression so that we can get bookings uh for future for future purposes and speaking of the future, we wish you all the best yes. in your future <laughs> endeavor, your mm. future projects, and um, any collaborations that you might have coming up mm -hmm. in the future. We are definitely looking forward to hearing about everything that you have coming up, Mr. Rukas H.E. Yes, definitely. Um, uh, we, have, we have some collaborations coming. Um, I am supposed to be collaborating with an artist out of Antigua. Um, I, I don't want to name any names as of yet. Of course not. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, St. Martin Carnival is next year. And so we will be invading. <laughs> invading? Say, I yes. love it. I love it. <laughs> we will be invading St. Martin's Carnival. Mm -hmm. And so I will be there for some time. And I will be doing some collaborations with artists and being a, being a part of uh, projects in St. Martin as well. So that is our next move. Our next move is St. Martin's Carnival next year. And um, as I said, no names, mm -hmm. but <laughs> we do have collaborations with artists there in St. Martin as well. So you can look up for some really exciting stuff nice. from us. Nice. So Mr. Rukas H is not slowing down at all. Thank you so much for gracing us with your no problem. presence. No problem. We, we were talking <laughs> to uh, Rukas H.E., the reigning groovy soca monarch. I am Shanique Harvey for ZIZ TV. Thank you for tuning in.